Hey everyone, Tamor here. I've seen Justice League and I am considerably less enthused about it since the last time you saw me. What is up, super friends? Tamor here and I am very excited about the Justice League movie. I'll say this up top. I don't think Justice League is a bad movie, but I also don't think it's a good one. It's just painfully average. And in a lot of respects, that is the worst thing a movie can be. It makes it kind of forgettable. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be focusing on one specific thing that really upset me. Mostly to get it out of my system, but also because everyone here is really tired of hearing me complain about it. Right, Adam? Yes. See? Before we get into it, a warning. There will be spoilers ahead. And this is gonna be a hot take. If you'd like a broader look at things that Justice League did well, you can check out Buddy and Mike's spoiler fill chat. And while you're here, please hit that subscribe button, like you're Batman punching a goon. Kapow! <laughs> So the biggest issue I have with Justice League is its portrayal of Batman. One of the biggest criticisms of Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice was that it was quite a dour and humorless movie. And going into Justice League, there's been an obvious attempt to lighten the mood. But for me, it pivots a bit too hard. And I think that Batman comes off a bit worse for wear. Now, I'm not one of those people that thinks Batman can't be funny and always has to be serious. I love the Adam West era Batman and the Lego Batman movie but those are made to be funny, and they establish that their Batman is an alternate take on the character. But the use of Batman for comedy in Justice League compromises the character somewhat. The Batman we see in Justice League carries over from his appearance in Batman vs Superman, where he's a driven idealist, hammered into a blunt, deadly force for justice by tragedies and losses. He's a man of actions more than words, brutally tearing through armed goons and, when faced with Superman, employing well thought out strategies to lay traps and topple the Titan. But the Batman we get in Justice League is a bit of a bumbling mess, often looking like he's a bit out of his... league. See that? This is why they pay me the big bucks. His most defining moments in the movie aren't when he outmaneuvers an opponent against all odds, or swoops in to save a helpless civilian facing doom. Their throwaway one-liners played for giggles. Sure, this lightens the mood, but given that Flash is the comic relief character, and Aquaman also has a fair few funny quips, Fun times Batman feels a bit redundant. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. Again, I'm not saying Batman can't be funny, but for me, the way you make Batman funny is by doubling down on what makes Batman, Batman. The best examples of this are in the comics and the Justice League animated shows, where other characters attempt to lighten their mood with jokes, but they bounce off the always stern and composed Batman. You always get to be the bad cop. I thought maybe this time I could be the bad cop. He's a character that's laser focused on carrying out plans, and when they succeed, he doesn't revel in that victory. He's thinking one step ahead to what happens next, how they can learn from the experience, and ensure that this kind of thing doesn't happen again. The moments in which he deflects comedy like it's an incoming punch from a criminal are in themselves what make Batman funny. Humor happens around him, and he's willfully unresponsive. That's what creates an even balance in the dynamic between the different members of the Justice League. Superman will be the heroic boy in blue, Diana the heart, and Flash and Cyborg the comedy. Batman is the fun sponge. Most importantly, these archetypes make each member of the League distinct and enshrine what makes them who they are, while also coming together as a well-rounded team. Of course, Batman is known to drop a witty retort here and there, but they're almost always unexpected. They come off like a shot in a dark alley, surprising and confounding everyone within earshot. To get to that stage, however, you need to spend time getting the audience used to the cold-natured, highly efficient, no-fun Batman, so that when he does drop that one-liner, it lands hard. That doesn't happen in Justice League. Batman vs Superman laid the groundwork for it, but then the hard shift to a pervading sense of comedy in Justice League squanders it. The Batman we get in Justice League also comes off like the least useful member of the team in their fight against Steppenwolf and the Parademons. In the comics, Batman has brought down gods numerous times, and even Darkseid has suffered defeat at the hands of the Dark Knight. It's unfair to expect the DCEU Batman to be as capable as the one in the comics, given that he's a character with decades worth of accumulated experience, but Batfleck's acumen is uncharacteristically lacking in Justice League, and in some cases, completely counterintuitive. Batman, a character that operates squarely within the realm of logic and science, decides to use the mother boxes, strange artifacts he has little to no understanding of, to resurrect Superman. That is a very un-Batman-like move. Admittedly, it's something he does often in comics, but as I said, that Batman has way more experience with the weirder aspects of the universe than the DCEU Batman. He's, and to me, is the embodiment of selfless heroism. 
His stoicism in the face of overwhelming odds, his smarts, and his ability to show that ordinary people can do extraordinary things is what I admire about him. But none of that was on show in this movie. He felt like the shell of a character I adore as in production, and it seems like I'm not the only one. Admittedly, I could be overthinking it somewhat. I'm a huge fan of the character, and every time I read Batman or watch him on screen, I usually come away feeling kind of uplifted and empowered, and I get that fuzzy feeling, that fuzzy bat feeling. This time, I just came out and I was like, I did not like that Batman, and I'm not sure I want to see more of him. But maybe you did, and maybe you do want to see more of him. And in which case, find me on Twitter at H, or go in the comments below and tell me why you liked him, and the movie as a whole. I'm always open to more perspectives, and maybe you can turn me around on it. If you want to see some people actually be positive about it, Buddy Hutton and Mike Rigeau would like the movie quite a bit, and you can watch their spoiler-filled chat to see why. And in the meantime, you can find me on Twitter, as I said, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, friends.